We're in the Flex booth. We have the foremost expert, Craig, with us to talk about some of the technology baked into Flex tools. We're here at the, the Recip station here, and this is really demonstrating the, the vibration or the lack thereof. If you're using a Recip all day long, you know, you're demoing, you know, walls or whatever you got to do, the tool will really beat you up, right? That vibration will get into your fingers, your hands, your joints, and day after day, that'll really, really mess with your, your body. I usually like something that's lightweight and compact. Right. But like, to your point, if I'm, if I'm flood cutting a room or multiple rooms sure. or a school, I want something that's gonna give me the power I need, right. but it's also not gonna beat me up. For the testing mm -hmm. aspect, right? We had to make multiple cuts through an I-beam. Sure. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But the problem wasn't, honestly, either tool getting the job done for us. It was the fatigue in my hands. Right. And I gotta tell you, this was a pleasure to use. No, absolutely. How do you, how do you, can you tell us how you accomplish that? So it's in the internals. All the engineering is done. Uh, really also, the, the other benefit of it too is it's not gonna destroy the tool. These tools get beat up, not yes. just you, but they shake themselves to where Pieces. they, yeah, exactly, where the motors fail and other parts fail, you know, the, the shoe falls off. But if there's less vibration, the tool's gonna last longer for you as well. What's a way to quantify the amount of less vibration people can expect? So they, they put um, sensors on these and will measure the vibration. And so the difference that you get between these two units here is about 40% less vibration. And, th and that's what we're actually trying to demonstrate right here. So we have this bottle on here and when the vibration runs through the tool, it'll shake the liquid, yeah. right? And same thing here on this tool. And when you see it, Right, the, this is gonna be like a violent storm going on and this is just gonna be chill. Now you're removing 40% of vibration. It won't remove like any like any percentage of the good vibrations though, will it? No, no, so and that's the <laughs> point. <laughs> it's keeping the, the, the tool, the business end, doing what it needs to do. We built our version in this video here of this testing rig. What can you tell us what's going on here in case they haven't seen it, Craig? Or we're with Daryl. Daryl, yes. <laughs> How are you? Good. Is you this go. your station? This is my station, the station, station at the Flex. Torque tower. I love it. Torque tower, I like that. You guys already did something similar. I want to see if you're if you're if you're if your contraption is built better than mine. <laughs> I want to just make sure there's no cheating going on here. They're trying to cheat me. This is a full battery. Full battery, full battery. Full and battery. DeWalt. And DeWalt's using what battery? We're using the power stack against our stack lithium. Okay. And we're look, using our, uh, the Milwaukee, what is it? The 18, uh, uh, the M M18. Hi, up. They're Gen 3. This is their XC 6.0. A lot of people believe that this is their, when it comes to their high output battery packs, this allows the most watts out. Yes, absolutely. All of their battery packs. So equal weights, eight pound weights for all, for all tests. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> all right, I was, I was not in three. Here, let's do that again, sorry. Gotta put my iPro on. All right, and in three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. And there you have it. And you can see the wall struggle. The flex one. Walk here in a second. I'm a little dejected, but thanks for your help. <laughs> we started with our traditional lithium ion cylindrical cells. Right. And so, you know, we had the, the full range, everything from a compact two and a half amp hour up to a really large 12 amp hour battery. Right. And so when we did this, like it's great technology, but we knew the future was in more power. Okay. Right. Like, so there's all your standard applications, but as you start to look as more and more tools are going to convert to cordless, they're going to need more power. So that's where we launched this set of three tools. So 10 amp hour, six amp hour, three and a half amp hour by stacked lithium is what we're calling it. So it's lithium pouch technology, similar to that of what you have in your cell phone. Okay. Right? So the difference between these two technologies is 
the amount of power that can come in and out. So this is like a garden hose, this is like your fire hose. So we started marking our batteries with the watt output, which is actually the true measure of power that comes out of these batteries. So in our three and a half is a 1200 watt output. Okay. That's almost as powerful as our eight amp power. Almost equivalent is what you're saying. Exactly, right? So, so if I was gonna put this on a circular saw. For it would operate just fine. If I'm hearing you correctly, a 10 amp hour battery, because this is kind of counterintuitive to what we've known so far. Exactly. Right? 10 amp hour battery is puts out more watts than a 12 amp hour battery. Exactly. Now, here's a question, because I, I just want to make sure that I, I have this, my mind wrapped around it. Does that mean that this battery will run longer though? No. So the amp power is your gas tank. So you're still going to, you'll still get equivalent runtime of a 10 amp hour battery, but you're getting the more power, like the less voltage sag, the, the watt hours. Exactly. Take a rear handle saw. Okay. Right? Like when you are cutting a two by four, it's fine. Yeah. You start hitting knots, you start hitting nails, wet lumber, all that. Or and making you, long rips and such. Exactly. And you need that more power. This is, has the extra power reserves to be able to do that without bogging down. It'll just rip right through. You, you know what's important about not bogging down with a circular saw is that if, if you start to bog, that's that's when you can get kicked back. That's exactly. Because the, bo the blade can bind, yep. and then all of a sudden the saw will kick back instead of moving forward. Is it optimal though? It, you would probably prefer to run a larger battery exactly. still. So we kit the, the Cirque Saws, the seven and a quarter. With a 10. With the 10, just because yeah. it gives you the best possible performance. Okay. Much as they're great at distributing power out. Discharging. Yep. You yeah. can also recharge super fast. So the batteries, like let's take for example, this three and a half amp hour battery. Okay. On our fast charger, 160 watt, which is what comes in all the kits, yes. will recharge in just 35 minutes, right? And so this is a bigger, more power out. It'll recharge in, in not very much time. But where it really excels is when you get to the big batteries. Okay. So now we're talking uh, a 10 amp hour battery. On our fastest charger, the 550 watt, this will recharge in just 30 minutes. So wait, 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 I'm confused. So we have three chargers, starts at 160 watt, goes to 280, then 550. Okay. Fastest charger on the market. Is there an advantage to charging this 3.5 on this supercharger? 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Technically how these are designed, it's like, think of it like a, um, it looks like a cell, similar to like a AA battery, right? So. Power in at the top, power in at the bottom. This is a pouch that has, instead of one tab at the top and one tab at the, the bottom, multiple tabs all the way around. Yeah. So you know, the analogy we've used sometimes is like, like a two lane road versus a highway. Gotcha. Right? All these different lanes to get power in and out. Yes. And which means less resistance. Exactly. Which means less heat. It means less heat. Which so means more charge cycles and discharge cycles yep, over so time. Yeah, so they last significantly longer much more power out, much more power in. Really like all the things you could possibly want. Yeah, pretty awesome. So every charger works on every battery. So if you got a flex charger, you're, you're covered. But if you want to get back to work as quickly as humanly possible, 550 watt charger is where it's at. It's amazing. It's awesome. Thank you.